Hey guys, it's Danny Go here. Um, here with another um, result show. Um, ha had a lot of fun on, on Next Island. Uh, the new coloring um, dailies were actually pretty cool. I, I enjoyed it. Um, and I did sell a lot of the paint to Rats Coloring Service. Um, maybe a, some to, a little bit to some other people too, but mostly Brad's Coloring Service. A big thanks to buying all the paint and providing that service to people. Um, it was a bit of a loss in the week, actually. It wasn't really much due to Next Island. I think I held pretty strong on Next Island, I guess. Um, actually, it looks like I pretty much started the weekend. Well, I guess there was, I think I got the payout from Green Toker. That kind of what pushed me a little bit positive. Um, but I held strong on Next Island. It wasn't until Cali that I started to... Um, drop a little bit i mean it wasn't it wasn't bad um, i don't think i mean we'll see how it was because <clears throat> it continued to drop um i believe um but mm, i mean you know um okay so yeah i did get a sort of significant drop at the end um you know it is what it is you know um Oops. Where is this one? So, um, yeah, I guess that puts it about uh, down 300 pence in the week. Um, you know, still, still pretty strong, um, or pretty okay, you know. Uh, <clears throat> um, one thing I have been finding is that, you know, with all my... Um, With all my deed buying, I had to, um, you know, spend a lot more time looking at storages for PED, um, which is good and bad. Um, I do think that I need to clean out some of the um, um, storages and some of the um, some of the planets a lot, um, but it is, I, you know, it does start to constrain my cycle a little bit, having a little bit less PED. Um, making it a little less easier to find. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm kind of committed, um, like I was actually saying before. Um, I'm figuring the deeds will be at least a five-year thing, you know. Um, I'm Obviously, I'm hoping that, you know, my um, I do head into the positive at some point. Um, and I continue to have, you know, good income from a lot of different sources. Um, very streams like Green Toker, Crazy Burn, um, Budius.io, I get quite a lot from Misplay. Um, and also um, getting some from PPG as well. And then also um, Alice Earth is, is, is one of my biggest, the bigger one, biggest ones now, or pretty big. I guess Misplay is still bigger, but um, Alice Earth is going to be my number one pretty soon, of course. Okay, so what I always do for the skills, I take the old skills, I put it as a negative, so I can just do an addition to compare versus the new skills. I'm also going to, I have a new little metric that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's sort of important for me, sort of my, my theory of skilling, um, is that the meta is pretty important. Um, so I did pretty good um, early on. I was um, gaining meta a lot on arc, but then I kind of got away from that. Um, so I really only gained one, 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 one thing of meta. But the, a lot of that was that you know I spent so much time on Next Island. I spent like four, four or five days. But I mean, it was really worth it for me um, with the new mission. Um, I had a lot of fun talking to people um there are a lot of a lot of people there it was really cool how many people there were i don't think it was a lot of ubers but a lot of people were interested in coloring and, and and tailoring so actually that was a pretty pretty cool um thing talked to all the people who had sort of those sort of interests you know um uh i guess we gained six six seventy four i mean i think i think a lot of it is well i did get a lot from the coloring school i spent a lot of time sweating to try to um you know get stuff for stuff um but you know, 
I think it's a good result. Um, I mean, skill wise. The let me show you the, the biggest skill I was getting. Um, I, I mostly picked color matching. I'm also um, may have made a lot of progress on some other ones. Um, I think one of them that another daily that will give me coloring, and another one which will um, give me color matching. Um, I just started to get kind of high on paints. Um, I didn't really have anyone to buy them per se um, at that point, so I just kind of stopped. Um, what skill was it? In the design. Color matching. Yeah, I was picking that color matching. I went from basically one skill. Because I have the unlock, but I don't really do my coloring, you know, exactly myself. But you know, I like I like collecting the skills because I think it's important. I think the more skills you have, the, the better. Um I sort of think the more skills you have, the more skills you have, the faster you skill overall. Um so May may or may not be true, but I I think it is. Um, so I collected the the color matching. Um, so yeah, getting a little bit of ped to Ludius. I think it's like uh, let's see. 36 ped now to collect. It's been a little bit slower, but recently, but still been good. I'm not sure what I'll do on do on Cali here. Hmm. Always a little bit of a mystery on Cali because I feel like I feel like Cali is so open ended, you know. Um. Did I finish the dailies? I didn't really feel like doing this one. I don't feel like doing this one, or this one, this one. I don't feel like doing any of these dailies. Oh yeah, I, I'm also doing the migration. I did some long tooth. Um, an Ema, mostly in, in in a team with a friend. Um, but um, did do a little bit solo as well. But enjoying the migration. Um, Longtooth have been treating, treating me good. Ema, not so much. But we'll see. Let me see if, if I get new dailies open. Just go to Troy. Hopefully, it's not too much lag at Troy. That's a little bit of lag here on this this area. See here. Yeah, probably not open, but guess we'll check. It's so funny. I was really looking forward to Cyrene. Um, they look like I have a lot of new content. Um, but then just kind of like I got to next island, I got all excited about the coloring stuff, and then you know, and then. Not only that, then, you know, I didn't think migration was going to start this early, and then I thought it might be another week or so, um, but then I found out this was going on, so when I came back to Cali, I was like, wow, got to do some migration. Um, nope, and nope. Um, maybe, maybe I should not just pick something I want to do, I should... You know, kind of like what I was saying. I need to work on that. 
meta. I mean, the, the long tooth is going to pop itself, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, the deck keep is actually isn't meta because um, I'm already on the repeat. Maple Snot. Fukabara. feels like it's going to be a pain to find. Um, why don't I maybe see if I can pop the the the, the keeper on? Yeah, sorry for I butchered these names. I just I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not good with with words. You know, well I'm I'm good with words. Um, not not the pronunciation of like I'm good with remembering words. Um, in in English. Um, um I'm I'm horrific at foreign language. Um. Um, yeah, I really am. Like, uh, I tried to, because I was a pretty good student, you know, in, in, in middle school. They wanted me to take some accelerated courses, but, you know, I didn't really do that much because, um, just, you know, it's kind of a lot for me. Um, and I, I just prefer to have, you know, more nice, like, to play chess and go, you know, game strategy games than, than really being in a school. But I, mean, I was a good student, but the one thing they said is like, let's get you, get you into language, get you a head start in, in like Spanish. So I tried to take Spanish in, in elementary school or middle school. Yeah, middle school. Just, I couldn't do it at all. It was really, it was really bad. I think, I think I can kind of like, I have a good sense of hearing things. I might be able to learn languages by hearing them, but like written wise, I, I think the I'm not entirely sure. Well, I am entirely sure. Um, I've never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I'm completely dyslexic. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not bad because I can kind of like, um, you know, make my way through it. Uh, um, I typically when I write, I write a lot of short sentences that, um, you know. Uh, have small words. I do pretty good when I'm actually focused and and and, and, and I, I can actually write pretty good, but I have, I have to look at it a while. I definitely, but I definitely have a lot of elements of um yeah definitely I definitely am dyslexic. But I think you know if you're dyslexic and you're pretty smart, you can usually force your way through it. And I think that's the thing is that you know and maybe that wasn't it wasn't really good because I think that you know I was a good enough student because I was really smart, that they never really figured out I was dyslexic, you know? Um, as a kid, you don't ever really think about that. Well, maybe it would be good if they knew I was dyslexic, you know? <laughs> maybe maybe there's something, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's nothing, I don't know. You know, I don't know, I just ne never, never, <laughs> never, uh, and... You know, at this point, it's just like, well, I do fine. I do fine without it. I just have to, I have to, you know, watch what I write, you know, and, you know, be mindful of a lot of things. But, but the one thing, one thing I would say is that, you know, when you're a little bit, when you're dyslexic or, you know, somewhat, you know, because I definitely am, um, is that the one thing is that it really enables you. There is, there's a lot of disadvantage to it, but there's also some advantage because, like, <clears throat> I can just look at large amounts of text and just understand it, like, really, like, instantly, you know? Um, I don't really understand it very well, I mean, but I can basically, like, I'm looking at, like, financial articles or something, you know? I can just, like, look through it, boom, you know, and, you know, it's just like, you know, it's like you, you digested the, you know, because they don't really say a lot anyway, but, like, the key points is, like, you know, I can get it, like, you know, I can be done reading it because I don't, I'm not really reading it. You know, I'm not really reading. I'm just getting the ideas, you know, just you look at it. You see the ideas of each sentence and then you move on, you know, I'm not really reading the words of it so much, you know, um, damn, this area is so bad. Oh my goodness. It's terrible. Is this the right area too? Should be maybe more over here. Oh, this is awful. This is this is the game server, it's not my my internet. That 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 like um, jerking back and forth. That's um, 
It's like the the game experience is so sort of lag, and it's like this area is really bad right now. But actually, now that I'm down here, starting to clear up. I don't know why sometimes it really doesn't like the flying thing. Oh, somebody's right here. I hate being on top of people, you know. But sorry, sorry, person, I did not intend to be in your area. Oh my goodness. All right. Um. Might be nice if I had um. Have my amp repaired. Do I at least have some ammo? Okay, I got some ammo. Let's see if I can. Obviously, this is not a small codex, but let's see if I can just do it anyway. Just because it's annoyingly high. So usually I can just net these um, if, if I'm not too close. Of course, now that I'm on this video, I'm probably just going to die and be embarrassed. But whatever, it is what it is, you know? Why did this one just like, oh my gosh. Why did they... You know, like I do these fine all the time now on video, and it's going terribly. Okay, of course. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. Um, okay. Uh, probably gonna die here. Maybe I pulled out. Oh, we did it. I just don't know how I got so annoyingly close to that one. Hey, but we survived, right? Yeah, usually I have no problem on these. I don't know how I aggroed, too. I guess I have bigger aggro than I thought. I wasn't paying attention. How much, how much did I get? Um, so it's 86... Um, Point three. But yeah, um, so going back to my Spanish story, I did drop out of Spanish, so that was terrible. Um, and then I tried to take Japanese in college, and I got like a D. That was even worse. Um, I ended up settling on German. I somehow managed to do okay in German. I actually did high school German. Um. Somehow, somehow German worked for me a little bit. Um, oh my goodness, these, these did barely move. 86.6, I think. So that would mean I have to kill... How many of these would I have to kill? Three, so 30 for, for 10 plus maybe... Uh, maybe 40 of these. Oh, and that one it was even lower, so... I like 50 plus. Okay. 50 plus. Um, I'm guessing these are four pet a pop. Could be wrong. Is that behind something? I can't really see. Like blends in as camo. Yeah, it's a little bit behind something. Okay. Um, I have 50 of these. That's 200 pets. Okay, well, whatever. I'll probably do it. Yeah, pretty terrible um, languages for real.
Hey, 15 pets, not not bad at all. I'll take 15 pets all day. But yeah, like I like these, you know, these they're real slow if you got a, a big gun. Decent amp. Um you can just net these. Obviously, you need to be pushing out some damage, you know, because, you know, this sort of thing. I'm running, like, 100, 100 plus DPS. Um, maybe not 100 plus, I don't know. But it's it's, it's high. Uh, what the? Is there a trooper over here? Where'd he come from? That's annoying. All right. All right, it's okay. I guess I'm in a little bit of a feisty mood today. I'm usually pretty cool and whatnot. That's okay. I mean, it's okay. That's a little bit different frame of mind than is typical for me. I'm usually pretty like zen, you know, but not really, not really feeling the zen today. A little bit more feisty. <laughs> oh well, there it is what it is. Uh, at least I'm not working today, right? You know. Zen is good for work, I think. Is that sort of Zen? But I don't know. I I, I sort of just don't mind a Zen state ish. I mean, not that I don't, but I tend to not be like. I don't know. Today I just like weird mood. I guess not. Not a bad mood, but just weird. Alright. So, yeah. See if we can pop something on these guys. Probably not. Wait, it's been going for me. I, I think I've hit, in the past, like, year and a half, I think I've had maybe a, two Hoffs, maybe three Maybe four, I don't know. But none of them have been more than, like, much more than a thousand pets. I think maybe it was... Is there a 1,500 pet one? I don't know. But it's been... It's been kind of um, a hard year and a half in the game, turn-wise. I mean, obviously, my, my results haven't really, you know, been bad or anything. Namely, because I've had so many income sources. But... Yeah, the returns I'm sure have been pretty abysmal. But I mean, I've also been trying to keep really strong MU. Obviously, I'm not really getting it here, but does I get a Chetak mushroom or however you pronounce it? Those things are like 100 pet of MU, but the odds that are like zero. I actually got one before, um, but I don't think I'll get one again. I think I was really lucky that I got one before. Hmm. Yeah, so... You know, and the funny thing is, probably when I get the daily, it'll probably give me these Capron. That's the way the game is. They'll be like, ha ha ha. Could have waited. All right. I'm not sure to back up here. I should probably should not be shooting at this angle.
Oh, on hit hard. Oh, no. You know, healing costs a little bit more than armor, but um, you get skills, so that's nice. I value skills, so. If I had a choice, um, like, and it's not too, like, not too much healing, if I have a choice between, um, you know, armor and no healing, and healing and no armor, I'll, I'll pick healing over, over just because I get those skills. Even though, you know, obviously it's a little bit more expensive, so you're, you're spending more healing than, than your armor would, would cost you. But, you know, I, I value that, that skills, you know. Um, I don't think it's that significant because, I mean, obviously if, if I had, you know, one of those um, resto adjusted chips or something, it would actually be less. That'd be really cool. But on the other hand, that's a lot, you know. Cause that'd be like 5,000 pets, you know? And you think about that, I mean, is it good or not good? Um, I don't know. I mean, because yeah, you can think like, well, you're saving a lot when you heal, but you're probably also getting less skills, I'm guessing. You're spending less, getting less skills. So, but like, for example, like, kind of like how I think about it is like opportunity cost, you know? Um, um, I mean, usually people talk about opportunity cost in terms of your time, which is true. I mean, t time is definitely an opportunity. So one of the mobs got stuck on one of the other mobs. Okay. Please come out and don't get stuck. Um, usually people think about, you know, opportunity cost in terms of your time, which is, you know, I mean, I don't know if people use opportunity costs all the time in terms of money, but I mean, it's, I think it's the same same principle um what happens um you know i mean obviously like let's say i get a resto adjusted trip um which is five thousand heads you know or you know maybe get a little bit less but that's just let's just use five thousand you know let's just say you know that five thousand pets that five thousand pets is pets i can't cycle um is pets i can't own in deeds you know like you know and like you could say well there's going to be cost savings, but I mean, yes, you could minimize cost, but you could also maximize income, you know, like, you know, you know, I have no idea, you know, if it makes sense or doesn't make sense. It would probably depend on what you do, but on their hand, you know, you know, 5,000 pets of these is going to be, you know, over time, quite a lot of pets, you know, um, you know, it, you know, and this is just a way of thinking about things. I mean, I don't have an answer. Um, and I just, haven't really valued to get it especially because you know i do value skills so much it's like okay if, if i got five thousand pets i'd rather just have them in d's i'll get more skills i don't mind a little bit of extra spend um because obviously there's, there's your spend you know you're spending but you're getting most of it back anyway um so your um your savings isn't the difference between what you spend and um, between what you spend, you know. The difference is what you spend and then what the game takes, which is going to be a very small amount, you know. Um, so to me, you know, that's why that's that sort of thing's not very clear. It's like, yeah, your your costs are gonna be way lower, but on the other hand, <clears throat> um, you know, the actual cut the game is taking from those costs is very low over time. All right, we're getting there on this. <clears throat> I don't know if we're gonna finish this on the video because it's not really going that fast. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish this today. I might just. Call it quits and, and do something else. I don't know. But.
Well, how, how many of those we're talking about? We're talking about. We're still talking about like. Yeah, we're still talking about like at least thirty to forty. I think. The ammo is maybe getting a little bit low. I mean, I can go buy ammo with this, the shrap. Hopefully there's uh, some small amounts of shrap in the market that's a decent price. But... Oh, it'd be cool to get a global on these for the video, but... Um, I don't think it's very likely. Um, I've been... Having a little bit of a hard time getting any globals to be to be real. I mean, not that I'm like chasing globals per se, but um, but just you know when I'm hunting mobs that should global, just not getting it, you know. So yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if you know I end up you know sort of sinking down to that eight negative eight thousand or so you know that I was at before. Um, which um is a little bit you know why I think I probably need to stop buying deeds because. You know, going back to my sort of score line, what was I kill this mob? Um, going back to my score line at negative eight thousand, um, that's going to put me down to around ten thousand. Um, you know, obviously I've got a lot of you know TT and armors and stuff like that, plates. Um, items that is not really removable. I mean, it's removable, but it, it, it's not stuff that can be cycled quickly. Um, also, I need to do better on this, but I, you know, I have a feeling like, you know, the, the further down I get, the even though, yeah, there's a lot of improvements I can make, a lot of junk I can get rid of, um, it's gonna it's gonna limit my cycle more and more the further down I get. So that's a, a big reason too to also um, maybe stop buying deeds. Um, um, I mean, obviously, I would like the the returns to go the opposite direction toward the positive, and then as they go to the positive, buy more and more deeds to kind of um, I guess to say um, lock in. That profit and also increase the the future returns, um, but I don't really uh, realistically imagine that's going to happen. It looks like I was hoping that you know because I feel like I should you know have a range to get into the positive. You know, based on my theories, I know everyone has different theories, but based on my theories, I actually have a range to get into the positive. But uh, I'm thinking at this point, I just don't have the skill base for it. You know. Um, So I do need to I do need to work on the skill base a lot, a lot more tree cutting, I think. Um which I've neglected, I haven't really done. But there are things I can do that I think will hopefully help. Um But also I need to focus more on the the, the meta. I mean obviously maybe this one wasn't a good one to go after, but I mean on their hand if I get it done, it's not bad, it's you know something. Plus it plus we'll get um you know, Codex, which I can put into looter skills. But yeah, I need to... A lot of things I can do to improve, so... Um, to me, it's... kind of just becoming a game of a lot of patience. You know? I think it'll work out, um, but it's... kind of just really slowing down.
I feel like we're making some progress here. Well, um, maybe I will call that uh, a video, actually. Um, See, so yeah, I'll have in the comments some, you know, referral links so you can get some ped. Um, and also, it just helps me out a little bit. And then, also, if you're still here, haven't already followed my channel, like, um, like the video. This helps, uh, maybe leave a comment. Helps raise awareness for the stream. Uh, appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great day, okay? Take care.